Okay, so yesterday I titled my video as it being the most cathartic, most carefree, and by proxy happiest Easter I've had in years. And admittedly, even though it was just starting to be in the afternoon, one could even make an argument saying that I was a little bit bold in just making a prediction like this. Especially when, believe it or not, earlier yesterday, for what reason, my back started hurting me. So needless to say, that's my love. In fact, it, it still kind of hurts. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be taking some ibuprofen after I record this. But everything else was just, you know, exactly what I was hoping for, if not more. So for today, considering that yesterday was the very first time I have ever um, been to the Hilltop Inn in Elmira, I figured between that and everything that happened later on afterwards, I think I got a few things to say. So, good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. So, my family's reservation at the Hilltop Inn was for two o'clock, which I already knew was gonna bother everyone else in my family, and it did kind of have me worried because what wound up happening happened is that they stopped serving brunch and they started serving, you know, Easter dinner, which before I, um, which let me preface, Easter dinner was absolutely phenomenal. And I'll get to that. I'll be more specific about it in a few minutes. But, you know, we had like all day and I I went in like very hungry, so it was, it was good for, for sure. So obviously my high was just this whole day yesterday, but um, my act of kindness actually happened at, immediately after I got to the Hilltop Inn. As I uh, walked over and I noticed that there was this older woman, you know, walking to the door. And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be here to the door and hold the door for her, you know? It's Easter, I'm trying to be nice. It turns out she was waiting for, um, I believe maybe it was her husband, I think, or whatever. But meanwhile, there was like hordes of people like going in and out. I'm like holding the door for all of us. <laughs> so, yeah, I wound up, it was actually uh, kind of cool. And so we get inside and this this mistake really is more on my family it has nothing to do with the hilltop inn but when we made the reservation the, yesterday was the first time they wanted to have it in a room that they have upstairs and my grandma doesn't really go up and down stairs very well so that was on us not not to the good folks at hilltop i assure you again we should have been more I mean, well, I say we, I mean, my family decides. I just go where they tell me. Like, <laughs> you know, because I, I, I wholly predict we're going to be going back soon, eventually. I don't know. But I know we're going to be going back at some point. And so if we go there for any kind of brunch, like, we got to be more forthcoming. Like, okay, we're going to Hilltop. We're making the reservation for breakfast. Making sure we're downstairs, like do it. We're gonna, we're gonna be, again, we're gonna like really, we're gonna take initiative on it. How's that? I really think of the, I still don't think that's not the right term for it, but whatever. And yes, while we did miss brunch, you know, for breakfast food, you know, we missed the omelet bar, you know, sausage, bacon, scrambled eggs, uh, French toast, waffles, all that stuff. What we did have though was incredible. I mean, 
there was uh, four different kinds of salads that for the upstairs people where we were they had them in little um like wine glasses or whatever very kind of festive and cool there was an asian noodle salad a spinach salad that had strawberries in it and feta a um a fruit salad and i got the caesar salad the caesar salad was wonderful and you know whenever i go to like these sorts of things i have to be the guy who samples like everything and so i wind up getting like huge plates even though i swear i'm like i'm legit trying not to make them big at all but there was this stuff i mean there was stuff i didn't even have like i didn't have their chicken pie pie i didn't have their shepherd's pie i didn't have their mashed potatoes i didn't have any of their dinner rolls let's well, be fair though, some of these items they had like replaced because they were almost gone so they had even more items of breaks i guess um let's see there was i didn't have the eggplant parmesan i know there's at least one other thing i didn't have but what I did have though, I had um, their Fiesta corn. That was really good. I actually tried Ratatouille for the first time. Hey, Ratatouille is there. I, I had to try it. And out of the Pixar movie. It's a very good movie. I totally recommend you watch it. Um, let's see what else I have. Uh, while they didn't have an omelet bar, they did have a mac and cheese bar. And you can get mac and cheese and you can top it with. Uh, any, well, one of three things. There was like, one of them was like, I think like tomatoes, I think. One of them was uh, a pulled pork. But what I wound up getting was uh, bacon. So hey, I technically got uh, my bacon after all for brunch, huh? Hmm. That was wonderful. The uh, carving station, oh, actually a few other things I did have. I tried, um, I tried the chicken mar. Chicken mar saw was phenomenal. Like, honestly, my father figured out that time because they didn't actually have like gravy, gravy. They had jus from the carving station. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, my father took uh, mashed potatoes because he was getting those for my grandma. And he took some of the gravy, the mushroom gravy, the mushroom gravy sauce that you have with chicken mar saw, and put that on top of the mashed potatoes. I did not do that, and I'm regretting not doing that, but if I get another opportunity, I'll, I'll go for it, for sure. I did have potatoes au gratin. That was good, very good. Normally when I see potatoes au gratin, I think they're like scalloped potatoes au gratin, but no, these are like, like, I think they might have been like gnocchi dumplings. But for whatever they were, I was thoroughly, I was thoroughly impressed with what, um, with what they had, so no complaints here. Um, I just mentioned the chicken marsala was phenomenal. Um, they also had uh, two different kinds of fish. Keep in mind, I don't think I got, I still don't think I got everything, but I'm trying to remember off the top of my head what I saw there. But like the fish were like, um, like maybe half the size of this. Like cut this rectangle in half I guess you can make it in like two squares. Like that's how big the pieces of a uh, haddock and salmon were. I tried one of each, which, you know, normally I respect for my mom. But seriously, I don't think I've ever told you this, but one of my mom's weird, one of my mom's ultimate food quirks is she doesn't like salmon. She likes all different kinds of fish, but no salmon. Unbelievable, right? But I tried both the haddock and the salmon. They were phenomenal, but then, you know, I had to talk about the conversation because they had a uh, roast pork, they had ham, and what I, because I, I had the ham, but let's be honest, hands down, they had prime rib. That was the best thing there for me. It was perfectly cooked, you know, it came with a au jus and a you know, real legit raw horseradish that completely whooped my fanny as soon as I uh, took a bite of it, but I don't care, I love horseradish so much. Um, 
So, all in all, the food, well, actually, I gotta get to dessert because um, for dessert, they had a bunch of different things. They had like different kinds of, uh, like, they had like a blueberry cheesecake, I think it was. But it was a raspberry cheesecake. They had carrot cake, red velvet cake, chocolate cake. They had um, uh, uh, chocolate mousse served in little tiny jars. They also had tiramisu, also in little tiny jars. They had um, vanilla cupcakes. They had like a whole bunch of stuff for dessert. Oh, and apple crisp. I had, I wanted like the apple crisp, a vanilla cupcake, and one of those uh, chocolate mousses. My father said the mousse was really good. He liked that stuff. He, my father's a chocolate guy, so he goes for that stuff all the time. And with that said, the food most definitely live up to the hype. So yes, by this standard alone, I'm already looking forward to the time to go back. For next time, obviously. And the only thing we could be going get back for soon is Mother's Day, which I mean, we have some time to decide if we're going. Although that being said, Another part of my low yesterday was the fact that my mom had to work so she couldn't go with us. If there's one person who could tell like it is better than I can, it's her. So by that logic, I need a bit more of a sample size before I really do make a legit, you know, opinion on Hilltop Inn. But from what I had so far, what my father had so far, we thought was phenomenal. Speaking of things that were phenomenal, the staff. The staff was very warm, welcoming, accommodating. You know, they got themselves good people to work there, for sure. I mean, you're gonna be getting good food if you go there, pretty obvious, but you know, the staff is also worth going to see as well because that's how nice they are. And speaking of things that are worth seeing because of how nice it is, Naturally, Hilltop Inn is on top of a hill. And I have ran to Hilltop Inn before for working out, but I've never been inside. Yesterday was the first time I ever went inside. So yesterday was the first time I legit got like a real look at everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything because I had to see the view from Hilltop. I don't think I would, I don't think I would ever say it. I didn't think I would say this, but the view you get from Hilltop Inn in Elmira, New York, rivals that of the Bully Hill Vineyards up in Cougar Lake. That's how good this view is. And I thought Bully Hill Vineyards has the best view of Cougar Lake hands down. So I, they, they're like neck and neck. That's how close it is. So again, it's a breathtaking view. So go there to see for yourself. It was, it was fantastic. So Hilltop Inn, I mean, yo, y'all get a thumbs up from me. I'm not gonna, you know, I, I mean, I went in with very high expectations. So I was really worried about doing because if I go on with high expectations, if even one thing disappoints me, it's gonna be, be really bad, but no. Like, you've earned all of your accolades. You were worth all of the hype that, you know, I've been hearing about for a long time. You know, from friends and other people who have eaten there. Like, seriously. You know what? I think the title of today's video should be Hilltop is on top. That sounds like a good video title, actually. And the best part is that they didn't even stop there either. Because my father was the one who brought over my grandmother, but my brother and his wife and all three of my nephews were visiting my grandparents later, so I got to see my nephews too. <coughs> Excuse me. And it was just wonderful. I got to see my nephews on Easter. You know, it was, it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. You know, I got to see my nephews play with, 
you know, a bunch of toys. You know, I got to talk with uh, my brother and my sister-in-law, my grandma and grandpa. And, like, I was in seventh heaven this entire day. Of course, the day ahead wouldn't have been complete if I didn't stick around to see my mom get back from work. Which, uh, I did. And it was nice. You know, I got to... Got to... I got to see my mom, I got to see my dad, I got to my family, I got to wish all I knew a uh, happy Easter. Although that does remind me, this is actually a really funny part that I'll talk about before I end the video. When I first got to Hilltop, different members of, you know, the group I was in, you know, my family came at different times. And so I'm seeing, I'm hanging with um, a few people that were with us. And I can see my grandma, you know, walking in, I go and help her. A little bit before that, as I was waiting in line, a dear old friend of mine was actually leaving. So as I was arriving, he and his family were leaving. And I thought he and his family already left, but when I went to get my grandma, he was holding the door. So I got to introduce my friend and my grandma. And my friend says, your grandma? I thought this was your sister. Uh, yeah, that was good. That was that was a well-timed joke. Well done. Well done. Actually, uh, this friend I'm referring to um, works at a great place in Horseheads called Iron Hole. Which one of these days I really have I talked about Iron before? I think I have. But you know, in case I didn't. You know, brief summary, honor roll is awesome. They hashtag feed the six, they feed, they hashtag feed the 607. There we go. So, yeah. Yesterday lived up to everything I wanted and more. You know, I felt relieved, carefree, happy. And I get the feeling, because here's the thing, there's a very important event coming up this upcoming weekend, too. I don't want to give away what it is yet, but I get the feeling that yesterday was a sign of things to come in a good way. Next for what's going on this weekend, this upcoming weekend, I mean, but I think yesterday may have been a turning point in my life. Like, I can't quite prove why, but it feels that way. That's how great it feels. So, take that for what you will. But also, if you're in Elmira, go to Hilltop Inn. Highly recommend. You heard it here first. Go to it. It is worth everything I just described. Like, favorite, chat, the subscribe button, follow me on social platforms, turn on YouTube. I'm very home in this video for all of you guys are watching. Enjoy everything. Hopefully, you have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, because I want to talk to you, I'm going to be here to win. I always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.